Natalie, two Austin police officers praised as heroes tonight for pulling two women from a sinking car in Lady Bird Lake. Chief Acevedo presented officers Matt Judd and Ashley Edwards with meritorious service awards for valor this week. And tonight, one of those officers sits down with our Shannon Wolfson to shed new light on what happened that July night and the heartbreak that followed. It was complete surprise. Senior police officer Ashley Edwards couldn't believe her eyes that early July morning. I honestly wasn't even sure what happened. She was writing a report along with officer Matt Judd under the I-35 bridge near Holly Street when she saw a car drive down the boat ramp and into the water. Once the vehicle began moving because it happened so suddenly, we both entered the water and began to swim out to it. The strong current quickly pulled the car 30 yards from shore. So as we swam out, we could hear female voice coming from inside the vehicle and trying to exit the driver's side window. So at that point, we just continued to swim out to the vehicle until we could reach it and uh, assist the driver. They were surprised when another woman started to climb out the same window and then the car went under. It took us a while to get everyone back up to the shore. And once they were on shore, I began asking medical questions to see if they were injured and what was going on. And at that point, one of them had mentioned a, a male's name and I began asking where the male was and they stated that he had been in the back seat. It was surprising considering the amount of time that had passed from being out by the vehicle to coming into shore and just then realizing that their friend wasn't with them. Their friend was 25 year old Ryan Whittington. By the time officers even knew a third person was in the car, it was too late to save him. We did the best we could and if if I could go back and, and change it and and have a few more minutes to get inside the vehicle and realize that someone was back there, then we would have done all we could and, and hopefully I brought him home as well. Divers later recovered Whittington's body. The driver, Madeline Rackley, is now charged with intoxication manslaughter. They were definitely heroic in, in their actions and you know putting their life on the line to, to go out to, to, to save somebody else. I wish that decisions and circumstances had been different to where it wouldn't have even been a factor or needed, um, but hopefully you know, everyone can learn from this, and I wish the best for Ryan's family. Reporting in Austin, Shannon Wolfson, KXAN News. This case still has to go before a Travis County grand jury. Rackley has a previous arrest for DWI. That was back in 2009. She has pleaded no contest to that charge.